en question. Please be seated. Le président. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Before I hand the floor over to the defense teams, I notice that uh, Judge Lavange may have some questions to be put to the witness. You may have a parole. Oui, merci, yes, uh, Monsieur le Président. Il s'agit plus uh, de demande de précision uh, par rapport à une information d'ailleurs qui a peut-être déjà été donnée, mais je l'ai peut-être manqué ce matin. Monsieur le témoin, vous avez expliqué que s'agissant du transport de personnes par le train, transité par Batambang, vous avez noté qu'il y avait eu deux étapes. That this took place Une étape in two steps. qui a suivi euh, la chute de Phnom Penh en avril 1975 et une autre étape ultérieurement. Ce qui m'intéresserait de savoir, c'est que vous avez dit que vous avez dit ce qui m'intéresserait de savoir, like c'est est-ce que vous saviez quelle était la destination finale des personnes qui étaient ainsi transportées vous avez parlé d'un certain nombre de gares, mais au-delà de ces gares, est-ce que vous savez jusqu'où ces personnes ont pu être conduites Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Je ne savais pas où la destination serait. Je ne savais pas la destination finale. Ce que je savais, c'est que des gens débarquaient à différentes coopératives. Donc, ce que vous saviez, c'est que ces personnes étaient transportées jusqu'à certaines coopératives. To certain cooperatives, but without exactly knowing which cooperatives these were. Is that what you are telling us? Yes, that's what I mean. Effectivement, c'est ce que je veux dire. People were transported through cooperatives. On transportait les gens dans certaines coopératives. J'ai une dernière, toute dernière have, question, monsieur. Uh, Vous avez parlé you. du transport de personnes par le chemin de fer, par railway. le train. Est-ce que vous avez And été témoin de d'autres modes de transport de personnes Est-ce que vous avez vu euh, des personnes transportées see, dans d'autres véhicules que des trains uh, uh, train? No, I did not. No. Besides that, they were transported by trains. Je n'ai vu que du transport par train. Je vous remercie beaucoup, Thank Monsieur you. le témoin. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions I have à no poser à, questions, à Monsieur uh, to put, Sok. Uh, to Mr. Sok. Then, uh, thank you, Judge Lavage. Merci, Monsieur le juge. The floor is now given to Nunchi's defense to put questions to this witness. You may proceed. Vous avez la parole. Thank you, Mr. President, and good afternoon to all Merci, in and around the courtroom, and especially good afternoon to you, Mr. Sokchin. Sok My name is Jasper Pau. I am the lawyer for uh, Nguyen Chia, international lawyer for Nguyen Chia, and I will be asking you um, some questions relating to the statements uh, that you provided to the investigating judges and today here in the courtroom. As always, I will be speaking slowly for the benefit of the translators, but if anything is unclear to you, please uh, do ask me for clarification. Mr. Sokchin, this morning um, you stated that you uh, do not 
remember uh, exactly when you were interviewed by the investigators of the OCIJ. Could you perhaps give us an estimate? Can you tell us about how long ago it was that you were questioned by the investigators of the OCIJ? Um, Mr. President, I see that the witness is looking at his statement, but I'm asking him to answer from memory. So Je could the witness be instructed to not read from his statement, but to answer the question from memory? President, uh, witness, there is no need for you to refer to that document. If you can recall the time, please say so. And if you cannot recall, please state so as well. Witness, I cannot recall the time. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Could you tell us whether, according to your recollection, this was one year ago, or two years ago, or three years ago, or four years ago, or five years ago? Could you try to be a little bit specific? When I think back, it could be taken place in either 2008 or 2009. Thank you. And La Défense. would you be able to remember Merci. the month that this interview took place? And if you don't know, you can state so. Si la réponse est non, vous n'avez qu'à le dire. I cannot recall the month. Je ne m'en souviens pas. When the investigators Question. of the OCIJ came to your village, lorsque les enquêteurs did they explain to you why they wanted to talk to you? Vous ont-ils expliqué pourquoi ils voulaient s'entretenir avec vous? Whatever I said to them is on the written record of the interview. I understand that, but my question is slightly different. When the investigators came to your village, did they explain to you why they came to talk to you? I cannot recall what they were speaking back then. And do you know how the investigators knew that you had been working for the railroads during the regime of Democratic Kampuchea? There, a group came to me, to my house, and asked me questions that uh, when did I start working for the uh, railway? My house was actually located near the railway track uh, as well. And did they explain to you why they came to your house and not, for example, to the house of perhaps your neighbor? How did they know they um, could talk to you about the railroads under the democratic regime, under the regime of democratic Kampuchea? Kampuchea? 
Bad. Repos. In my village, there are a number of former Dans railway village, workers. Il y a plusieurs anciens cheminots. And uh, they came to me. They asked me ils sont questions. Ils me voir. Ils m'ont posé des questions. And they uh, told me that they came from Et the ECCC. Ils venaient des CETC. You stated that there are a number of Question. railroad workers living in your village. Y a uh, Did any of those uh, other village. railroad workers accompany the investigators when they came to talk to you? Mais lorsque les enquêteurs sont venus vous parler, étaient-ils accompagnés de certains de ces cheminots de votre village? Nobody Réponse. actually accompanied uh, the group. They came Personne to my house. They conducted an moi. interview with me, ils, uh, and then they interviewed uh, two other people. Avec moi, et puis ils ont aussi interviewé deux autres personnes. And I was told that one of uh, them already uh, died. On m'a dit que l'un d'entre eux est no décédé. Actually, on that day. Three of en fait, us were interviewed on the same day, and we were all former railway workers. Des de fer. And can you tell us how you know Question. that on the same day, three people were interviewed by the investigators of the OCIJ? Que deux autres personnes avaient été interviewées par les enquêteurs ce jour-là. I did not know much about that after I concluded my interview with them, then they interviewed the other two, but I did not know the substance of the other two interviews. You have testified also this morning about Um Pudung. And you have stated that he was in charge vous of the uh, de technical Prum, work. During the DK regime, did you work Sous together with him? Did you work closely together with him? Yes, I worked with him. Oui, j'ai travaillé avec lui. And can you give us an estimate as to how long you worked together with him, was that throughout the regime of Democratic Cambodia, or was that shorter? Well, I worked with him during the entire period of Democratic Cambodia. And you stated a little bit about his role today, but could you tell me a little bit more about what he did during the democratic Cambodia regime? He was the chief of the technical section Il était le chef that is specializing in uh, road, bridge, en and building. En route, en pont he en worked in his uh, own group, Il au sein but de son he oversaw the technical aspect of the group. Mais assurer la supervision so des, des aspects techniques du groupe. Donc, comme je dit, road, il était spécialisé bridge and building. en bridge and building. Thank you for route that route answer. And these days, are you réponse. still in et touch with Om Plung? Do you still see each other? Est-ce que vous vous rencontrez à l'occasion? I also meet him and see him because 
He's uh, my neighbor. He doesn't live far uh, from my house, uh, and he's also a retiree. Il n'habite pas bien loin de chez moi, et lui aussi est à la retraite. And are you aware of the fact that um, Um Pudung has also given testimony to the investigators of the ECCC? Lui aussi déposé, enfin faire une déposition au CETC. No, I do not know about that. No, I je pas do not ask him about that. Je ne lui ai pas posé des questions à ce sujet. And during your interview with Question. the investigators of the OCIJ, was Mr. Umprung present, considering that he lived near présent? you? Quand on sait qu'il habite proche de chez vous. He réponse. was outside, not within the interview à group. Il n'était pas avec le groupe d'interview. And how did you know he was? Question. Outside? Did you see him était, outside, or did vu? people tell you he was outside? Vous Could you? Explain that, please. I was interviewed in a room, and there was a window from that room, and from that window I saw him walking outside. And Question. do you know why he was outside while you were being interviewed? Well, he, I was not really sure. Uh, probably he was uh, chit chatting with uh, the neighbors. Um, According to the uh, summary of the interview uh, with Mr. Ompudung, um, Mr. Ompudung has talked to the investigators off the record. This means that uh, the investigators of the ECCC spoke with uh, Ompudung without recording those conversations. And the reference for that, uh, Mr. President, is uh, document number D232-74, English uh, ERN is 00422355, and the Khmer ERN is 00414480. And it can be found under uh, question 60. It is, in fact, the investigator himself who indicates that they have had off the record uh, contacts. Mr. Sok Chin, um, you were interviewed on the same day as Mr. Om Pudung, and you were interviewed by the same investigator, and it all took place in the same village. Did the investigator of the OCIJ perhaps speak uh, with you as well without recording this conversation, or was the entirety of your interview recorded? Yes, we talked, but I can I recall oui, the subject matters that we talked thèmes, about? Did Question. the investigator explain to you that he had just spoken to Um Prung when he came to ask you questions? President uh, Judge Lavaine, should you may proceed? 
Oui, j'aimerais bien que yes. Maître Pau nous explique les like raisons d'une telle affirmation. To explain to us the reasons for such an assertion. Il vient d'indiquer que l'enquêteur avait parlé the investigator avec had spoken euh, with, uh, l'autre témoin, je n'ai plus son witness, I don't remember his name, avant de s'entretenir avec celui-ci. He spoke with si the witness here present, if I understood la, correctly what you said. Le fondement d'une so telle affirmation. Is, uh, the, uh, for such an assertion? Et, et quelle est sa pertinence And what is its relevance? Um, thank you, Judge Lavergne, for um, that question. The uh, source for that knowledge would come from the um, interviews, the summaries of the interviews themselves. Um, witness Um Pudung was interviewed on the 8th of December 2009 at 9.15 a.m. and that interview ended at 2.30 that same day. Um, And 20 minutes later, um, the interview with this witness starts at the 8th of December 2009 at 10 to 3, uh, and that goes on into the afternoon. So that's where I base my uh, knowledge on that these people were, in fact, interviewed on the same day, and that Om Plung was uh, interviewed first. The relevance oui, mais quant à la pertinence. Yes, but, je suis désolé, mais ce n'est pas exactement l'affirmation que vous exactly avez utilisée pour questionner ce témoin. Said, uh, Alors, je vous demanderai d'être un peu plus précis. Witness. Le so, fait que ces deux témoins ont été entendus le même jour est une chose, qu'ils aient été entendus ensemble successivement est une autre chose, thing, mais aller au-delà me paraît un peu plus difficile. Et encore une fois, j'aimerais savoir quelle est la pertinence de toutes ces questions. Et encore une fois, j'aimerais savoir quelle est la pertinence de toutes ces questions. And to, to make sure I understand, Judge Lavergne, what, which assertion did I make so I can respond comprehensively to your question? Je n'ai pas le transcript sous les yeux, mais c'est peut-être aussi un problème de traduction. Il m'a semblé avoir compris que vous aviez indiqué à ce témoin que l'interrogateur lui avait fait état de ce qu'il venait d'interroger l'autre témoin avant de, de procéder à son interrogatoire. Je ne sais pas si ce n'est pas le cas, moi, que j'ai mal compris, mais peut-être pour clarifier cette question. We understand each other. I did not assert that the investigator had told this witness that he had spoken to uh, the witness in the morning. My question was whether um, the investigator had told this witness about uh, such an occurrence, and that obviously is relevant uh, if one wants to examine sources of knowledge of this witness. So I uh, did not mean to assert that the investigator had told this witness such a thing. Oui. Président, euh, le président. Defense Council, you may continue with your questioning of this witness. Thank you, um, Mr. President. And Merci, Monsieur le Président. I'm not sure if the witness remembers the question, but I uh, am happy to repeat it um, if the witness so indicates. Je serais heureux de la répéter si le témoin le souhaite. 
No, I cannot be caught. When the investigator of the OCIJ came to interview you, did he explain to you that he had been speaking to Mr. Om Prung earlier that day? I cannot recall that. Je ne m'en souviens pas. And Question. to avoid confusion, um, the investigator Et of the OCIJ stated that he had spoken le to Mr. Om Prung off the record, so without recording those parts of the interview, did the investigator of the OCIJ Donc, also speak with you off the record, therefore without Donc, recording certain parts of your interview? I cannot recall Je ne m'en souviens pas. Uh, what I was asked, Je ne but pas de, I was later asked to be interviewed by the team. President, I thank you, witness, uh, the prosecution. Do you have le anything to say? Uh, merci. Your Honor, we were going, going to object, but perhaps the matter is moot now that the witness has answered the question. In our view, there's no proper basis to be leading to this witness uh, information about interview techniques conducted with another witness um, during which interview this witness was not present. Um, my learned friend can, can quite competently and succinctly put a question to this witness as to whether or not he was asked any questions of the record. Um, references to other interviews in, in this particular context, um, context to our mind are not appropriate. And Mr. President, under nor normal circumstances, I would entirely agree with uh, the prosecutor. But in this instance, we are speaking about um, a set of interviews that was conducted on the same day by the same investigators. These two witnesses are neighbors, and they have worked at the same place during the regime of democratic Kampuchea. Apparently, the one witness has been questioned off the record. It's not the defense claiming it. It's the investigator of the OCIJ writing it down himself in the summary of the interview. Therefore, there is reason to at least probe whether or not this witness may have been questioned as well off the record. Again, this is not the defense going off on a fishing expedition. It's the OCIJ itself acknowledging that off the record conversations have taken place. So we think it's relevant for um, uh, establishing and probing the sources of knowledge and credibility of this witness. Um, but of course, we are in your hands. The President. Now the witness is before you. And he has made it clear that uh, he uh, tried to recall what he has uh, experienced and what he recollects uh, from his experience. And that is uh, the reason for having him uh, to testify before the court today. And the chamber wishes uh, to remind you that uh, Rule 76.7 uh, is the uh, sub-rule to be taken into account. As for uh, Rule 76.7 uh, provides that unless it is uh, subject to appeal, the closing order may uh, rectify uh, the uh, procedural errors unless uh, there is uh, uh, no uh, uh, any other issue may be raised 
uh, immediately before the uh, chamber or the Supreme Donc, Court chamber. I do not really know your intention, but I, if I am not mistaken, uh, you have uh, spent uh, considerable uh, time discussing this, and if you refer to Rule 76.7, uh, that can be self-explanatory, and you may move on. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I hear you stating that my intentions are not clear. Let me then very briefly explain what my intentions are. I am not raising any procedural defects. I could not care less about the procedural defects as such. I am talking about the sources of knowledge of this witness and whether or not his testimony may have been contaminated by either the investigator of the OCJ or perhaps the other witness. I am simply doing what Every defense lawyer in the world je fais tout should be doing ce que it's doit questioning tout, the sources of knowledge of, of this witness. But I understand your ruling. Um, we will move on. Car le témoin, mais je comprends bien votre intervention, et je vais donc continuer. This morning, ce matin, Mr. Sokchin, uh, Monsieur Sokchin. Um, you mentioned in uh, answering a question by the civil parties that you had found out only recently about the role of Nunchia during the regime of democratic Kampuchea. Could you tell us how you found out about this role? Did you read about this? Did you talk to people? What? How did you find out about um, the role of Nunchia? In response, I learned about his role uh, only when uh, I watched uh, the uh, TV uh, broadcast uh, once in a while. And when, but when he was the uh, chairman of the People's uh, Assembly, I did not know his role. And when you speak about the TV broadcast, which TV broadcasts are you referring to? I am referring to the uh, broadcast uh, on the video uh, on the TV station, the CTN uh, TV station of uh, the uh, their live uh, feeding of the proceeding at the extraordinary chambers in the courts of Cambodia. Transmission en direct and des, des audiences du, when you watch those TV programs, do you um, discuss these with members of your family or friends? Do you have members of your family or friends? No, I did not. Réponse I only non. watch it for myself. Non, j'ai simplement euh, and regardé euh, l'émission pour moi-même et par moi-même. Since 1979, question depuis 1979, have you discussed with members of your family avez-vous discuté avec des membres de votre famille des événements qui se sont produits pendant euh, le régime du Kampuchea démocratique? No, I have Réponse never no. uh, attempted to recall it. Uh, I uh, have never discussed it uh, either with my family members or with my friends. And if we are moving to si passe your work that you uh, undertook, um, at the railroads, 
during the regime of democratic Cambodia, you have stated that you were responsible for 21 kilometers of the railway. Did that mean that you had to go out every day to check and repair those tracks? la voie ferrée et procéder aux réparations euh, si nécessaire. Yes, that's correct. I had oui, to, I had to do uh, that on a daily basis. C'est ce que je devais faire euh, au quotidien. And is it correct to state that you were living in Tepeng Chong? de dire que vous viviez à Tepeng Chong? Réponse. Yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. In Songkhat Prepeng Chong, à Songkhat Prepeng Chong, Pusat Province, Province de Pusat, Pusat Province, Province de Pusat. And can you explain to us? Question. Pouvez-vous nous expliquer how far Prepeng Chong was from that stretch of 21 kilometers that you were repairing? Prepeng Chong de ce tronçon de 21 kilomètres que vous étiez chargé, dont vous étiez chargé d'assurer l'entretien et les réparations. <coughs> the uh, 26 kilometer stretch was uh, within uh, Pursat province uh, and it started from uh, Klang uh, road uh, all the way to the uh, railway near Bang Khna location and how would you get to your work in the morning? Was the railroad next to um, your commune, or did you have to go there by car or walk or some other way? Yes, I had to go there by car or walk or some other way. As for the uh, technical work relating to the railway in my uh, Sankat or commune, uh, we had a uh, lorry. Lorry was uh, used to transport uh, workers and staff uh, members. And this lorry carries a few people, and we had to push it along in order to move us along this railroad. So at that time, we called this uh, tool as lorry uh, to carry people, and it has uh, four wheels. And we put the uh, wood uh, on it, and then we have to push it. Uh, uh, that was the uh, typical means of transport uh, for uh, the staff uh, working in my location at the time. And would you be working every day, or did you have days that you could stay in Tepeng-Chorn? Est-ce que vous pouviez rester de temps à autre à Tepeng-Chorn? <coughs> no, we uh, did not uh, have nous, nous the time uh, to uh, take off, uh, de except when uh, we were really sick. But si we really uh, say that we were sick because otherwise we Mais would uh, have been accused of being uh, conscious, uh, consciously uh, ill or so, so we had to work even Donc, if we were sick. On même quand on était and Question. how often would you go Et to Leach? Quelle était la fréquence de vos déplacements à Leach? Uh, along the railroad, there was a cross road leading to Liege, but I had never been to Liege, and I never knew it. Uh, but uh, people would put a uh, stop over there in order to connect it uh, to Liege. Just to make sure I understand you correctly, let me ask the question once more in a slightly different form. 
during the regime of democratic Pendant le régime du Cambodia, Cambodia how often would you go to Liège? Would it be? Quelle était la fréquence well, de vos déplacements à Liège? Non, je vais. Non, je vais. Oh, je vais en rester là. Réponse. During the democratic Pendant Cambodia period, I never visited Liège. Je ne me suis jamais rendu à Liège. Um, Question. You were also asked this morning Ce matin, the following question, vous and I'm posé la question paraphrasing because I do not have the transcript. The question was, uh, did Tamoum or Tamik uh, give you any instructions about trains coming through and carrying people? Qui and your answer was, uh, par chez vous et qui no, he did not, Votre réponse did not know non, about this il, uh, uh, because, or, il pas no, he did not, he did not know about this because I saw this situation that happened en fait, only along the railway uh, tracks. Situation, uh, qui se Could you produisait explain uh, to us what did you mean by stating that you saw que vous the situation si vous uh, vous avez only vu along la the railway tracks? Uh, uh, se déroulait, uh, uniquement le long de la voie ferrée. Réponse. My role was uh, to repair the railroad and as for uh, the uh, goods or items uh, transported, I did not know uh, who's I who uh, je, those items belong to. I only uh, knew that uh, there were uh, items and uh, people who were being carried uh, by the railroad. Uh, and along Et that railroad, there was one crossroad connecting to Leach. Carrefour, uh, qui menait à Leach. You Question. just now speak about Items Vous that de were being carried by the railroad. Could you tell us uh, which items were fer. carried by the railroad? Nous dire de, de quoi il s'agissait. Qu'est-ce qui était transporté par uh, chemin de fer? Um. Réponse. As for the goods or items uh, carried uh, by the uh, train, as you may uh, be aware, that uh, there were different wagons uh, for different purposes. Uh, certain wagons of the uh, train were reserved for carrying goods, and others were meant to carry uh, uh, people. But uh, at the time, I did not uh, see uh, goods. Uh, those wagons which uh, were used uh, to carry goods were then used to uh, carry Les wagons de marchandises ont servi à transporter des personnes. Maybe question. I did not understand your earlier question just now, uh, your earlier answer just now then. I thought that you indicated that these trains carried items as well as des people, as that ainsi que des personnes. A fair rendering of your answer est -ce earlier. Que vous avez effectivement dit cela tout à l'heure, il y a un instant. <coughs> Réponse. When I mentioned uh, Alors, goods uh, earlier on, I uh, wanted to emphasize that uh, there were certain wagons uh, used uh, to uh, carry goods uh, in the past, but at the time uh, there were no uh, wagons uh, used to carry any items or goods uh, during the democratic Cambodia. Uh, they made use of those uh, wagons uh, to carry uh, passengers. And you have stated earlier Question. that vous the wagons that were used for que les wagons um, transporting qui people à transporter les were uh, the type of wagons that were usually uh, used ce que for transporting les wagons goods. Que utilise généralement pour le transport de marchandises. Can you describe for us what these wagons 
looked like. Uh, à quoi ressemblaient For example, ces wagons? Did Par these exemple, wagons have est-ce que ces windows wagons avaient des fenêtres? Look out through for the people, permettant or aux personnes transportées de regarder vers l'extérieur, ou bien s'agissait-il de wagons totalement clos, ce qui est souvent le, le cas pour ce qui est des wagons de marchandises. Réponse. Those wagons, uh, wagons look like a small cubic uh, ressemblaient à des uh, room uh, with about des four meter width and about 16 meter mètres de long et 16 and there were de only longueur. four um, gateways uh, il n'y avait que quatre ouvertures and did these wagons have Question. windows est-ce que ces wagons étaient équipés de fenêtres Réponse. The wagons uh, did not Les have windows. Les wagons n'avaient pas de fenêtres. And question. You said that there were four gateways. Et vous avez dit gateways. qu'il y avait quatre Could you explain to ouvertures. Us what you mean Pouvez-vous with nous préciser gateways? ce que vous entendez par ouverture Gateways en anglais, uh, portail. Mot, mot, réponse. They were the doors actually uh, and des portes, en when fait, people uh, were uh, asked to get on the train they had to go through the doors uh, in the past uh, those, uh, do, those uh, passé, wagons were reserved for uh, items transport and then they would uh, put the items or goods through these uh, doors but, uh, during the democratic campuchia uh, uh, people uh, were asked uh, to get on the train uh, through those doors les gens dans le train and par ces portes. After the people got on the train, Question, une fois les personnes dans le train, closed, est-ce que les portes étaient fermées open? ou bien est-ce qu'elles restaient ouvertes okay. No, the door remained open. Non, les portes restaient and ouvertes. And people who were uh, standing Et nearby the doors were asked uh, to move, uh, move a little bit uh, away from the door. Uh, but, uh, of course, uh, the door uh, remained open. Dire so there reculer would be enough peu, mais les air entering the train Question. Donc, il y avait suffisamment d'air the trip. Uh, Is that pour pénétrer dans les... Uh, Your assessment. dans les wagons pendant uh, le déplacement du train et ce votre estimation de la situation The president witness please hold on uh, attendez Mr. Prosecutor, un instant you may proceed. Uh, témoin Your Honor uh, Monsieur le procureur vous avez la parole My friend is asking a question that based on the Madame evidence et les juges, elicited thus far uh, mon confrère uh, would be asking the witness to speculate uh, unless the witness has been on one of these wagons à moins que with 40 to 50 cette, people que le témoin, or unless he's an expert uh, in effectivement um, pris le train et monté dans un de ces wagons avec 40 ou 50 personnes meters, il n'y avait pas moyen de déterminer ce, quelle était la quantité d'air qui rentrait dans les wagons en termes de mètres Mr. cubes Mr. Donc, on lui demande de spéculer c'est pas fondé sur les faits Exposure la défense, to je, n'ai, je n'ai and, entendu personne ne protester lorsque l'avocat des partis civils a demandé si le well train était exposé au soleil. Euh, je crois que si le témoin a vu les trains, il devrait pouvoir répondre air, à la question de savoir s'il y avait suffisamment um, de ventilation dans uh, ces trains uh, pour uh, les passagers. Bah, le président. The president, the objection and the ground of objection by the prosecution is uh, sustainable. Est accepté. In rather, a witness uh, need not answer Le n'a this pas question. À à cette question. Mr. Witness, question, Monsieur le témoin. When you saw Lorsque vous the avez vu ces passing train, by, in qui, your assessment, qui circulait, there seemed to be enough ventilation for the passengers vous, aboard that train. Y avait-il suffisamment de ventilation pour les passagers de ce train? There was enough uh, ventilation and Il y avait assez de ventilation. Um, Question. 
you have stated that you were living uh, in vous avez did you sleep in this commune que every night after que you were transferred there? Dans cette commune après vos activités? No, in Sankat Trapangchong, they built uh, houses uh, for us uh, to Ils stay. So we stayed there. We stayed nous there nous 24 hours et c'est là que around the clock. Uh, nous résidions 24 heures sur 24. Thank you. And question, je vous remercie. After you were Après, done with checking on the rails avoir effectué vos activités the rails, de vérification you would de la voie ferrée de réparation vous étiez uh, transféré vers votre commune est-ce exact réponse no that was no. not the case uh, non ça n'est pas le cas at that time nobody transported à us ce uh, back uh, to our hometown uh, we had to uh, get on uh, the uh, trail by ourselves and then we have to push it using the stick in order to push us forward le, using the rail. Et nous and can you give us an estimate as to how long it would take you to get home to your humaine. commune? It's like that we go home. Question. Can you tell us how long it would take you to regain your commune? It varied Réponse, ça dépendait. over the 26 uh, stretch. There were certain um, Sur, portion uh, of uh, the rail that were derailed, and we had to repair, and uh, we had to stay for a long period of time in order to get réparer, it repaired. Uh, but in other places, réparer, uh, there were endroits, uh, only minor uh, uh, deterioration of the rail, uh, so it took us um, uh, a short period of time to, to repair. And as for the travel cela times, se, uh, se uh, plus, plus we also varied uh, from day to day depending de on our uh, strength once uh, we uh, were energetic uh, we could push it forward uh, si, faster comme, than comme the other day si nous à force d'homme mm. uh, parfois si nous restait beaucoup d'énergie on pouvait aller plus I'm vite sure que d'autres jours um, I'm Question, sure you have explained oui, this already but just for me to understand, understand the commune that you were, were living in was that commune, along uh, the railroad votre commune de track. résidence uh, longeait la voie ferrée The commune where I lived uh, was close to the railroad uh, track. It was uh, the houses that were uh, built uh, for us were about only 10 meters away from the rail uh, track. And there were dining halls and uh, the work site uh, near the railroad as well. Thank you, that manger ou des salles de cantine qui étaient également proches de la voie ferrée. Question. Je vous remercie. Ceci I would now like to ask you some questions as to the role of poser uh, des questions Dan concernant Dan le rôle de Dan um, Et you have stated vous avez déclaré this morning that uh, management was uh, under Tamaum and Tamaum uh, assurait la direction des opérations et qu'il pouvait décider ce qu'il voulait. How do you know that Comment savez-vous que Tamoun pouvait to euh, décider ce qu'il voulait Réponse. I did not know how the decision was made, but on the day uh, today uh, work, uh, we had to do as what we ask us to do on a daily basis, but as for as, as to how the decision was made or how the direction was uh, uh, made, I uh, did not know, but we had to, to do what we asked us to do. 
moi je n'en savais rien, mais nous devions Otherwise, faire ce qu'il nous disait uh, de faire. We, Sinon, uh, would be of not nous aurions été accusés uh, de manque de respect policy. pour la politique du parti so, de Lancard. Is it fair to say that you Réponse, experienced him conclure, as he was making the decisions votre expérience de Tamoum est qu'il prenait les décisions portant sur votre vie et votre Kampuchea. travail pendant euh, le régime du Kampuchea démocratique. Réponse. Yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. And et you have question, also stated vous avez that également déclaré reported to the que Tamoum train unit in devait Phnom faire Penh. un rapport And could à you explain to us l'unité des chemins de fer de Phnom Penh. Pouvez-vous you know nous expliquer comment vous saviez que Tamoum en in fait devait Phnom faire un rapport à l'unité des chemins de fer de Phnom Penh Avez-vous jamais été le témoin to train units in de Tamoum faisant rapport à l'unité des chemins de fer de Phnom Penh, par exemple Réponse. I saw him Je l'ai vu go to, uh, Phnom Penh on a special, se rendre uh, à Phnom Penh train and upon his uh, return he would convene the meeting. Et à son retour, il organisait une réunion. And in that meeting, normally he set forth uh, the réunion, direction of en work général, uh, il for our colleagues. quelle serait l'orientation du travail pour uh, mes collègues. And You have also stated that um, Question. Vous avez également déclaré trains passing que through les trains were under the command of the uh, train units in là, Phnom Penh. Était en fait How do you know that those de trains were de Phnom Phnom under Phnom the command of the train unit in Phnom Penh? Train a été placé sous le commandement de l'unité des chemins de fer de Phnom Penh. Réponse. Uh, that, that is correct because c'est exact. No one uh, would Personne. Uh, have the um, power to order uh, it uh, because we were at the subnational level. Les uh, uh, nobody at the subnational level would be able to uh, set the direction Personne or order to, for the uh, train uh, to uh, go to any direction to pick up the people. So uh, there could have been no one else but uh, people Donc, from Phnom Penh who uh, set out such orders. And did you ever Question. see avez -vous jamais any of those orders? Did you see any vu written documents de coming de from type, des documents relating to the movements de of trains? Pen, régissant le mouvement des trains? That I, I do not Réponse, know. And I ça, never rien, saw any written je documents. Je jamais vu de documents écrits. And Et you have also stated that the train stations were que les, under les gares the authority of a train unit in Phnom de 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 Phnom Penh. The same question, did you ever see question, any documents jamais, uh, coming from Phnom Penh un document that would venant de Phnom Penh uh, suggest that the train unit in Phnom Penh was in power conclure, over que c'était l'unité ferroviaire de Phnom Penh qui avait compétence ou autorité sur les gares. During the regime, réponse. Pendant le régime, all the work was similar to that uh, what we did uh, in the previous regime, Tout unless there was an order issued by the authority, les autorités de Phnom Penh émettent un ordre, le travail continuait à être effectué comme avant. Donc la structure de commandement était comparable à ce qui existait pendant le régime précédent. And how would you receive your orders? Would that 
would they always be issued by Tamam himself, or was there someone under Tamam that issued orders for you? Vous donnait-il vos ordres? As for the work I did along the 21 kilometer railway track, everything was done according to the instructions of, of Tamon. And Question. you say everything was done according to the instructions of Tamon, but just to be clear, does that mean that Tamon himself gave you the order? Personally, or was there perhaps someone under Tamum that conveyed his orders order to you? There was nobody uh, below Tamum who would issue Réponse, orders to us. It was Tamum himself who gave the orders. And can you tell us how many staff members Tamum had under him? Can you give us an estimate? I couldn't recall the the number of Réponse. staff members me under the, the control of Tamom. Tamom. I can recall that within my group there were 18 Je members. Me dans mon unité, il y avait 18 that is a clear answer. Um, Mr. President, I am almost done with my questions, but I would um, seek your leave to um, have the possibility to confer uh, for a short period with uh, my national co-counsel, Mr. Sonaroon, to uh, ask him to clarify something for me, which I simply do not know, not being a Cambodian national. And I see that the time is, uh, would be appropriate for a break, so with your leave, I would um, ask you to break now, and then when we return, I will have at most five minutes uh, left of questioning, if any. So it is, uh, I'm in your hands, obviously. President, uh, thank you. Oui, merci. We'd like to check with you whether you have consulted nous with nous the other two defense si teams regarding time allocation, because for this witness, all the three defense teams uh, are allocated one en afternoon effet, session only to question this witness. Um, you are entirely right, Mr. President. I am, must say I've um, been too enthusiastic and I have not en checked effet, with my colleagues, raison, but I am sure that they themselves can indicate if I would have leave to proceed for five minutes, and I see nodding, so five minutes at most after the break, if any. Thank you. Angodom, you may proceed. Angodom, you have the Angodom. Good afternoon, Mr. President, and your bon honors, everyone in and around Madame the courtroom. Juges, tous ceux et celles ici présents. The, the, the Nunti's defense team may have uh, more time to put questions to this witness, as our team does not have any questions to be put to this witness. Thank you, Mr. President. Council for Mr. President, 
My team also does not have questions for this witness, so Nunti's defense may use our time. President, thank you for the information. The time is appropriate for a break. We shall take a break and resume at 3 p.m. Court officer, could you assist the witness during the break and have him return at 3 p.m.? Avant 15h. Some culture.